Hi folks, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum as well as the MoviePicks.com Guide to DVD Architect. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, part two of our eight-part basic training with Movie Studio Platinum. Now, in part one, we created a project. Now it's time to gather our media here in our project media panel and ultimately begin the process of actually editing our movie. There are a number of ways to get video or media into your project. And of course, media is not just video. Your media could be still photos, could be music, could be audio files, sound effects, whatever you're going to bring in. All of it first goes in here to the project media panel. Some of your media is going to be coming from camcorders, some of it's going to be coming from phones and other devices. Wherever your media, your video, your audio is, it ultimately has to be on your computer's hard drive in order to be part of your project. Now that said, there are a number of ways to get media. If you go up here to add media in the upper left hand corner of the project media panel, you see that if you just click on it, it's going to open up a browse screen, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But next to it here is this little down arrow. And if you click on the down arrow, you'll see the options for adding your media. You can explore your hard drive for files. You can import files from your camera or other devices. You can get it from a DVD disc. You can capture it on screen. In other words, record your screen. And I show you how to use that brand new tool here in one of our other tutorials. You can capture video. This is what you use if you have video coming from a tape-based camcorder, say a mini DV or an HDV camcorder. And if you select that option, uh, you will be linked to a tool that is sort of plugged into the program that will actually help you record over a Firewire connection video from your DV or your HDV tape-based camcorder. Also, you'll find the option here to extract audio or rip music from a CD. Now, I have my camcorder plugged into my computer. It is an AVCHD camcorder, sort of the workhorse of the consumer market right now. To import the files from the hard drive of that camcorder or a phone or whatever device you're using, you plug it in via USB and select the option to add media or import files from your camera or other devices. That opens up the device explorer. Now the device explorer is a really nice device that will actually show you the media that is on that exterior device and let you choose which you import or bring into your project. This is some media that's on my camcorder right now. And you can see we have individual clips here. I could actually play those clips if I were to select one and click the play button. I'd see a little preview of it over there. And I can choose which of these I bring over to my hard drive and into my project. So the nice thing about the Device Explorer, it not only puts the media into your project, but it's actually going to copy it over to my hard drive. So I'm going to select them all by holding down the Shift key and selecting the first and last. And then I'm going to select this option here, Import Selected Clips. And now the program is going to bring them over to my computer. So they're copied onto my hard drive, which is where all media must be. And they're simultaneously imported into my project. So when I close the Device Explorer, there are my video files. Now that's the way you get media from another device, but if the media is already on your hard drive, then the way you get it into your project is to import it by selecting the option to add media. When you select add media, a browse screen opens up and using Windows Explorer, you can browse your way to the media files. And these media files, again, could be photos, could be audio files, could be music, or could be, as in this case, video. I'm going to add my video files here just by selecting the first and last in a sequence, holding down the shift key. You could also hold down the control key, of course, and grab a couple more. Then click open and they're imported into your project. Once the media is in your project, you can begin the process of then editing your video. The exciting part of taking this raw footage and turning it into a movie. That's what we're going to cover or begin to cover anyway in part three of our eight part basic training with Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. We show you the process of getting all media onto your hard drive and into your project in our books, the moviepicks.com guides to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum and to DVD Architect. And we take you step by step through the whole process of making your movie and using all the tools in this wonderful program. I hope you join me for part three though of our basic training where we begin to see our movie finally take shape.